I'm Akiba Howard. Let's talk about good food and your well-being. We all know that calcium is important to our overall nutrition, but what about getting calcium in your diet if milk's not on the menu? Getting enough calcium is important for youngsters and adults. When kids are growing up, calcium aids in the development of strong bones and good teeth. And if you're not getting enough in the foods you eat, your body can actually start leaching calcium from your bones, something you want to avoid. Now most of us get a good deal of calcium from dairy products, but that's not your only calcium connection. Do you like ice cream? Ice cream is a good source of calcium, but ice cream can come with a high fat content but you'll find dairy foods like milk and yogurt in low-fat varieties, something to consider when you're thinking about getting enough calcium. Now, how much calcium? One scientific body recommends 1,000 milligrams a day for people 19 to 50 years of age and 1,200 milligrams for those over 50. And it's recommended that you get your calcium from meals throughout the day rather than all at once. And what about non-dairy foods that are good choices for a calcium-rich diet? Well, start with your greens. Spinach, collard greens, Swiss chard, kale, and broccoli are good sources of calcium. Or try salmon, tofu, rhubarb, and sardines. And while they have lower levels of calcium, you can also enjoy sesame seeds, papaya, and almonds. One added benefit, all of those are great for people with allergies to dairy foods. In addition, the good news is that many products these days are fortified with calcium, so it's easy to get your daily dose. Just check out the refrigerator section of your supermarket where almost every brand of orange juice comes with its own calcium connection. <laughs>